Hi, I'm John. This is Jeff. We're with Frank Bacon Machinery, and we're going to show you a newly finished Instron 4204 50 kilonewton tensile tester that we just completed. As you can see, this is a completely refurbished, reconditioned machine with all new controls, all new software, all new grips and fixtures. We build these from the ground up to work and perform better than new at half the price with the same one year parts and labor warranty. Um, Instrons come in all shapes, sizes, and capacities. So anything from a five kilonewton machine to a 300 kilonewton machine, we have in stock and can rebuild and retrofit to the exact same standards as you see here. This is our new electronics cabinet. This is for floor standing machines. As you can see, everything is brand new. All new electrical, every wire, every relay, every fuse. And all of this is off the shelf components that you can service and support direct through Frank Bacon Machinery or on your own through local suppliers. Nothing is proprietary, saving you cost and time in the future for future maintenance and support. Um, here is our M Test Quattro uh, testing software. It's very easy to use fully supported and can do everything that uh, a similar Instrom Blue Hill 3, uh, MTS Test Suite, uh, United Datum software. This is a very easy to use and can uh, handle all tensile compression and specific ASTM standards. You can have specific profiles saved for use for specific types of testing. It gives you a lot of reliability and diversity in your testability without having a ton of setup involved every single time. All this works off of a Windows 10 PC system. You can see here's the data acquisition system that is taking all of the inputs. You have a load channel, a position channel, an axial strain channel. As you see here's an extensometer as well as a transverse strain channel that can be used. And uh, an auxiliary input if you wanted to measure something like temperature, humidity, or any other uh, analog input. And you can see back here, everything's color coded and connected and keyed so setup is a breeze so you got color coded cables all throughout new load cell connections the original dc servo motor that originally comes with these instrument machines is replaced for a brand new ac servo motor that was engineered and specced by us to maximize the performance of this machine so it will far outsurpass the performance of the original machine with today's latest technology and standards. Not only do you get the great steel construction um, from US construction they used to build, but we're combining that with the best drive system that we can engineer and all new electronics and software. Uh, yeah, we're getting ready to start a test and I wanted to go over some of the accessories that we can provide for any of our frames. Um, these are a pair of 100 kilo newton Frank Bacon wedge grips that we've designed um, and sourced. Come in two different sizes, 25 kilo newton and 100 kilo newton. Um, nice bonus feature for our grips, instead of trying to nickel and dime every single face that you see, we set a whole set of faces for any specific thickness and size. Both V's, both V's and flats. Um, five separate sets of wedges for the 100 kilonewton and four separate sets for the 25 kilonewton. Really nice package of new grips. Um, sim similar accessories that we can that we have in house or um, can get new for you. Platens, uh, flexural fixtures of many different sizes. Um, all different kinds of instruments, whether it be deflectometers, extensometers like this, um, for specific use or, or more casual or more general use such as, such as that. Um, but all this can be set up completely turnkey to your exact testing specifications. Um, we just need a very specific product information and we can set up in, we can engineer an entire test system specifically for your design. Basically, if you come to Frank Bacon Machinery and talk to a sales engineer, come to us with a problem, 
Give us the NEASTM specs or testing requirements that you need to be solved for you, and we'll turn key a solution to get exactly what you need. If the only input we need is information of what you need to do, um, and we can set up and design a test system specifically for it. Um, so now that you know what kind of uh, equipment we're using, let's pull a test. Real easy, set to home, so you can always come back to this quickly and reliably. Tighten up my lower grip. Come in, tighten it up the top end. Once. Okay, I already zeroed the channel before we top, uh, tighten the top grip is when you tighten the grips, that is a true load. So you gotta make sure you're recording that. I got everything preset up here in the procedure. I'm using a tension test with no extensometer, just to give you a, a simple peak load and extension type test. You hit the start button, it's gonna begin recording. As you can see, we're getting a nice load versus displacement graph here as the specimen's being pulled. Right now I have live channel of loads selected, which will display up here. I can show position, I can show peak, I can show live, I can show rate. Anything I select here will show up large down in this window for easy viewing. Right now our control is from position, so we've just designated that we're moving at a certain speed, and it's showing us live load results from that. We have the machine program for 0.2 inches a minute. You can use either load control, position control, or strain rate control on all of our machines. So you can see the graph starting to yield. And you'll see the specimen start to deform. We have a load of about 2,480 pounds, about 2,500 now. And it should be breaking here any second. And because we're using a flat bar sample and we haven't machined it, um, you know, it's got quite a bit of width there to, to take uh, additional elongation. As you can see, we have a nice load versus position graph showing exactly what happened here and the load dropped off, signaling to the software to stop the test after the specimen broke. We had a peak of 2,587.3 pounds and a position of 0.814. Now I can show the test results here, which is gonna give a nice breakdown and a, that you can save as a PDF, send in an email, and store in your database to show your records of your, your test results. So load, extension at end of test, extension at maximum load, maximum load, and minimum load. This can be, the analysis end of this can be completely customized depending on the test you are doing. Um, this software doesn't charge based on every single bit of analysis that you need. It just gives you the option of using whatever or as, as much or as little analysis as you want depending on your um, raw data that is taken from your test. You can even go back to previous test results and do further analysis um, and you know, have, that, have that printable and, and reportable as, as many times as you want. If you have any questions about the software we use, feel free to give us a call. We can send you information and walk through all the capabilities of the M-Test Quattro software. Um, yeah, that's about it. Other than that? We look forward to showing you some more machines that we rebuild. We do everything from screw driven to hydraulic to fatigue. 
to vibration equipment, and we'll be showing you some more videos here shortly. Thank you.